what just happened? My grandma ruined my breakfast. Yeah. She put it inside the washer and it totally messed it up. So as you can probably tell, a lot of things just happened since we last talked. First off, my grandma moved to my house because you know my mom is gone, so my grandma never watches me. My grandma's kind of just a kind of cop. She's always yelling at me, tell me what to do. Like she has authority or something. Is she is really annoying. No offense to my grandma, but she is. Oh, uh, and the reason why my mom is gone because she's on a little medication. My grandma's really weird to live with. I mean, one time my grandma was doing the laundry and she was mixing her underwear with mine, and I was like wearing granny panties. I mean, I'm not gonna lie because when you wear them, they go up to your belly button. And then whenever I get bored, I go up to grandma's room and smell her clothes. The reason why I smell her clothes is because they smell like old people. I don't know why for some reason I like that smell. It just smells like it's been around for so long, you know? I'll be right back because my grandma has to talk to me about something. Talk to you later. Thank you so much, grandma. Yeah, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. My grandma's such a brat. She just informed me that she had a little secret that she wanted to tell me. She said that my mom's in rehab again. And my grandma's just too embarrassed to tell me at first. But now my grandma's too embarrassed that her sister has been going to rehab a few times now. I mean, there's nothing to worry about. Like, she has problems and the rehab people in the place will help her. It's just so simple as that. I mean, one time when I met Bertha, my mom was at jail, you know? But when my mom was at the bar, grandma flipped out because my mom was not supposed to be drinking anymore. So my grandma encouraged her to go to rehab and nobody told me until now. So yeah, my grandma said that my mom will be back in a few weeks. I know this is off topic, but I was just watching this show on TV called Michael Phelps on it. So he was like swimming in a humongous pool and he was like really going fast. And he's all famous now and everybody likes him. So I decided I wanted to be famous and everybody would love me. And that Judy would want to go out with me. But then Judy and me will watch the sunset and we'll kiss passionately. I'm just kidding. I would never want to kiss after marriage. Because my grandma said kissing before marriage is really sinful. So I'm never going to kiss everyone before I get married. So I don't know if I want to be swimming when I become famous, but I'm going to do something when I get famous. Maybe my singing career will help me. I'm gonna be famous one day, just wait and see. Me and Judy will kiss and I will get married. I can't wait until I'm famous. I can't believe school's starting soon. I hate school. But then when I have to go to school, I'm gonna have to see fat people like fat Kevin again. So yeah, it's just gonna be really terrible. <laughs> get inside the house. Be quiet, Grandma. You're being a total scallywag. I just wanted to tell you something for quite a time. Go away, Grim. I hate you. Fred, it is a strong word. Okay, then I strongly dislike you. I strongly dislike her. Okay, well, I'm going to have to go because my grandma's calling me for supper. She made me TV dinner. My favorite! Oh, and before I have to go real fast, my audition is going to go off soon. I'm, like, really, really, really super excited. Now I'm going to be starting playing as a tree. Peace out, home dog.